Alright, so in this video I wanted to talk about multi-query retriever and this video is part of the Langchain Crash Course series and we are still continuing building the advanced rack concept and the discussions around it. Okay, so whenever your uh, vector store size is very big, right, it's uh, if you are trying to build a, a question answer type of uh, LLM tool and your uh, vector size uh, vector store size is very big so it can be very hard for you or the end user to frame the correct query string right so which can retrieve the correct similarity search right so due to the volume of the vector store uh, it can be very hard to generate a proper query which can retrieve the correct answer right so what we can do is we can uh, use the LLMs to generate multiple variations of query using this multi query retriever and which can also allow us or the end user to focus on key ideas rather than uh, like trying out different combinations which can result in a better phasing of the query right so uh, instead of worrying about generating the correct phrasing of your uh, query we can use this multi query vector we can uh, which can generate the multiple versions of the query which we are uh, providing to the llm uh, or to the vector store and it can give 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 back you the better results in terms of uh, similarity search right so uh, let's get started so a uh, few installations which are very uh, basic which we have gone through so many times so once the installations are done so i am uh, using this uh, llama 2 paper as a source data and we will create a vector store out of this uh, pdf uh, data so like we are at first importing the pi pdf loader then we are loading that uh, PDF and we are creating the chunks text chunks of the data so using this character text flitter and with a uh, chunk overlap of 200 and a chunk size of 1000 right so once we kind of uh, created the text chunks then we will create the embeddings and once the embeddings are uh, created then what we will do is we will uh, create the vector store using this data and the, uh, the chroma DB right so once that is done we will also persist that vector store into a DB, uh, into a uh, local storage and once that is done so we can now start building a multi query retriever using an llm so the llm which we will use uh, that is llama 2 so here i am at first like importing the llm and the tokenizer uh, the tokenizer and the model then using that uh, i am creating a pipeline uh, from transformers uh, we are creating that pipeline with with certain characteristics of the model as a parameter and then we are creating a llm out of it right using the hugging face pipeline and after that we are just enabling this few steps so here you can see i have enabled the uh, uh, set varvers equals to true and also the set debug equals to true and then um, also set uh, i'm setting up the logging so I have seen that if you are using the multi query retriever with uh, like OpenAI embeddings, so that time the multi query retriever uh, gives you the proper steps like what are the different types of queries it, uh, it is generating. But in case we are using an open source model which is like Llama 2, I, uh, I have seen that only enabling this uh, the debugging mode and the verbose equals to true at the global level will give you some details of the uh, the multiple queries it's generating right so i think like in this part the lang chain needs to work and and uh, needs to uh, facilitate the open source models to get a better output right so once all these three things are done then we will build the multi query retriever so using this lang chain dot retrievers dot multi query i am importing the multi query retriever and uh, so this multi query retriever dot from is the way to create the multi query retriever and there you will pass the vector store as retriever and also the llm which we are using as a base model right and then we are writing we are uh, uh, writing a query with like uh, i have mentioned like what is so special about llama 2 right and then using this multi query retriever i am trying to retrieve the get relevant documents right so you you can see like once i uh, do this uh, mq retriever dot get relevant documents and i pass my query 
and I'm getting the output right so we are getting the different variations of this query right so which you can see in the screen uh, here itself like using this generations the like uh, my question was like what is so special about llama 2 right and it's generating two different queries uh, using this like what are the key features that make llama 2 stand out in in its field right and the alternative question is also like how does uh, llama 2 differ from other animals in terms of unique characteristics or abilities so this is kind of a hallucin hallucination which is kind of going on it's thinking that llama 2 is kind of an animal and it's trying to generate a different query but uh, i wanted to just tell you the idea like uh, by using this concept your uh, multi query retriever your uh, using the LLM it can generate different variations of the query and which can give you better uh, semantic search results right so after that this is the output which we are getting right so instead of focusing on trying to build a perfect phrase or the query you can uh, use this multi query retriever which will uh, generate the different flavors of your query and then it will do the semantic search right so yeah so this is all i have for this uh, video so yeah i hope you like this uh, video and you got you understood the concept so please like this uh, video if you have if you found this video useful and also subscribe this channel if you haven't thank you see you in the next video